we're out behind my house and my boy noticed that up in this tree there's a funny shape it's about the size of a soccer ball it looks like it's made of paper this is a bald-faced hornet nest we're keeping our distance because these hornets can be very aggressive but i thought it'd be interesting to dissect the nest see the queen see the baby hornets see what their nest looks like they don't have any honey but we'll see how they make a nest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till night. I'm going to get a garbage bag, go up there, catch it in the garbage bag while they're sleeping, then throw it in the freezer. Then we'll dissect it. Last week I showed you how to trap an underground yellow jacket nest. We dug it up. We set up some traps and caught over a thousand yellow jackets with traps. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at bald faced hornets. Now over here, there's another nest and that's a yellow jacket nest. It's not underground. It's in a tree. So tonight we're going to get both of them and then we're going to dissect it. It should be interesting, right? But my boy doesn't want to have anything to do with them until they're dead. So we're going to go catch them, throw them in the freezer, wait over a week to make sure they're good and dead, and then we're going to take a look at them. So for now, we're going to let them be, but tonight we'll come back and get them. It's nighttime. The sun's gone down. The kids are in bed. Hopefully the hornets are asleep as well because the nest is right behind me, hanging there in that tree. I have a ladder below the nest, and I also have the tools I need. I have pruning shears and a garbage bag. I'm going to climb up there really quickly, cut the branch, put it in the bag. Now hopefully I don't get stung. If you were doing this just to get rid of a nest, you do it in the dark. But I'm going to put a light up there so we can film it. Let's see how it goes. Well, that was more excitement than I was hoping for. I did get stung several times on the arms and neck just because there was too much light, but I wanted to film it. This bag is buzzing. They are not happy in here. This is a large nest. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer, then go get that yellow jacket nest. I won't film that just because it's too dangerous, but we'll have two nests in here and when they freeze, we'll take a look at them. My boys are really excited. It's time to dissect these nests. This is that huge bald faced hornet nest where I got stung all those times. If you compare it to the size of a soccer ball, it's much bigger. And here's that yellow jacket nest I was telling you about. These are completely different species of bees, but they're very similar in how they look. These are really big and in perfect condition. I went on eBay and took a look and they're selling these for between $30 and $230. So if we were going to buy this, it'd be pretty expensive. This one's smaller. Now we have some questions we want to answer in dissecting these. First, I'm curious how many bees live in a hive like this? A bunch of them came out when I put it in the garbage bag. I said it was buzzing. Most of the hive came out. They're frozen now, so we're going to count each one of these. We're going to look for a queen, see if there's different kinds like workers and soldiers. So we'll count the number of bald faced hornets here and the yellow jackets. Now yellow jackets and bald faced hornets are enemies. I have video where they're both fighting over meat and they're trying to kill each other. The bald faced hornets are much larger, but the yellow jackets are really aggressive. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up. We're curious what's inside. We're gonna take a look at the larva, see how they build it. This looks like it's made out of material similar to paper. It's built around a stick and there's only one entrance. So let's open these up and see what's inside a bald faced hornet nest. The material they make these out of is really interesting. It's like firm paper. You can see the lines where they built this by taking wood fiber and putting it together. And they've built this right around a stick. There are pieces of leaves in here. If you pull that back, you can see inside the hive. We're just gonna start pulling the paper back. It's very fragile, it just rips. Hey boys, can you help me pull back the paper? Yeah. We'll just pile it over here. It's wrapped in layers and layers like a roll of toilet paper. And this is the entrance down here. There's extra paper. This thing is at least 10, maybe 15 layers thick. Ooh, we're starting to get inside. This is very cold. It's still frozen. That's really interesting. Look at all those hornets in there. We'll give it a shake. Hi, 
Yeah, there's come a lot. take a look. There's a lot of eggs. Eggs. So that paper is built right around the stick if you pull it back. You can see the structure in here. Hornets just keep falling out. This is a huge nest. We've removed all the paper that was wrapped around the inside of the nest. This looks like Christmas morning where the kids just tear open the wrapping paper. We'll push this back. Here's the pile of dead bald-faced hornets. There's a lot of them. This one looks huge. Maybe that's the queen. Here's the actual hive. It's multiple levels and it's made out of paper with hexagon shaped chambers. Inside the chambers, there's different stages of larva development. They start out as a small egg, then they get larger and larger and larger and larger. The larva have their heads sticking up so they can get fed. Then when they get to this stage, the adults cover up the chamber and they start to go through metamorphosis. Here we have one that's just starting. You can start to see a head, some wings. This one's more developed, more developed, and this is the adult. And over here we have the large one in the center. I think this is the queen. Now that we've dissected the bald-faced hornet nest, my boys are going to show you what's inside the yellow jacket nest. Go ahead and open it up. Pull off big pieces. This is a smaller nest, but they have many more layers with lots of yellow jackets inside. Now usually they bury these underground, but this one was in a tree. It's raining yellow jackets. That's a lot of them. Oh. Oh. Look at all those things. Clementine, my baby girl, just woke up. Do you want to see the yellow jackets, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Did you wake up from your nap? Ooh, what do you see? Bees. Bees. What do bees do? Bees. Yeah. Can you see their nest? <laughs> Look at their nest. <gasps> There's more. There's a one layer. More. More. Two layers. Three layers. Those are built on top of each other like stories on a building. Four layers. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six. And they have the same different life stages. Here's a bunch of young. So we're going to go ahead and count the number of yellow jackets and look for that queen. One, two, three, four, five. We counted each yellow jacket and bald face hornet. There was 122 yellow jackets. For how big that nest was, I thought there'd be more. But last week I posted a video setting up a yellow jacket trap and we caught almost a thousand in a few hours. So I think a bunch of those came out of this nest and they're really down in numbers. Now in the bald face hornet nest, there was 430. Both nests had over a thousand babies in there, each chamber. So they were definitely working on building their numbers. Now normally I'm posting rodent trap videos. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, wolves, gophers, and sometimes yellow jackets and bald face hornets, stay tuned.